So, uh, I know it's been a little while since I did a review, a sneaker review, but nothing has really been coming out that I wanted. And I ordered these a couple weeks ago and I've been waiting for them to come out. Now, these actually came out. Oh, but before that, if you guys like, uh, I've got new, a lot, I've got a lot of new subscribers here lately. So, if you guys uh, like new uh, sneaker reviews, movie reviews, TV show reviews, and video game reviews, think about subscribing to the channel. Also, review anime as well. Um, think about subscribing to the channel and please drop a like. I would highly appreciate that. Um, so, without further ado, let's get into these bad boys. Now, the Nike SB Dunk Mummies were released around uh, the end of October um, for right right before Halloween. I think I want to say October 27th, uh, right before Halloween, they were released. Um, retailed at 110, uh, and they were only released. Now, the thing I like about these is, is they are very ex exclusive shoes. Now, one thing you can notice about these is they aren't the traditional SB box with the yellow and the blue. Uh, the yellow and the green kind of stripes uh, when this is going to be the purple box so if you guys see any other if you guys see another review and they're not in the purple box they are probably not 100% authentic just letting you guys know and and uh, as you can see I actually changed the shoestrings in them they do come with a pair of cream shoestrings that come in them but I love this green colorway and to me there's so many a uh, aspects of the shoe that I really like that I'm gonna get get into talking about oh. And stay tuned at the end, I'm going to talk about the sizing and the resale prediction of these for now, later. Now, as you can see, obviously this shoe is inspired by a sar sarcophagus mummy or an Egyptian mummy, if you guys will. Um, now, obviously, the skin, the, the lining of the shoe kind of represents the kind of uh, rags of the mummy. And, and it's kind of almost, uh, kind of like almost this kind of polyester slash denim type feel that goes through pretty much the whole the, the lining of the shoe and kind of hit with this Nike check which is kind of almost a premium suede which is a very dope dope touch now now the good thing about most of these these breakaway mummies is what I call them or these or these breakaway shoes is um there's actually a lining of the shoe that you can actually take these apart and there's uh it's almost if I'm not mistaken this color like you can peel back every line of the shoe and the shoe is going to be this now i'm not going to do that i love the aesthetic of these shoes i love the mummy aspect so to me peeling this away would kind of defeat the purpose of this shoe even though but the point of this is a skateboard shoe so the point of to have that distressed look or that outer look um the other other lining of the shoe is basically to give the concept of um once you skateboard in the shoe and beat it up so bad it starts to show the other side of it, but I don't skateboard, so <laughs> that's not gonna happen. And I'm not gonna just layer of it. so. But like I said, the most part of the shoe is c covered in that kind of uh, polyester slash denim material, uh, kind of uh, like giving us the uh, giving us the aesthetic look of an entire mummy. And the dope part I love about this is the small details in this shoe. A lot of people think this is a spider, but this actually is a beetle. Now, if you guys can, uh, basically this is the type of beetle, type of beetles that actually skin, they actually, they actually crawl in your skin and basically kind of eat you alive. Now, if you guys remember from the movie Mummy, a lot, a lot of you guys will, uh, if you guys can remember the movie The Mummy, that's kind of the aspect that we're going for, that they were real. I say. But these, but this is not a spider. It is a beetle. So just a dope little um, aesthetic that I did love about that. Had they added in there, um, and also the tip of the tongue uh, on the back of the tongue is the eye of Ra, uh, which is I think an Egyptian god, if I'm not mistaken. And if you flip under the uh, tab, you ha you you have these kind of um, you have these hieroglyphics, and the hieroglyphics basics actually spell out. Um, the the creators uh, the creator who made these shoes name in hieroglyphics so that's another uh, little uh, kind of and the one thing I love about at the top of the tongue you have the Nike SB Dunk uh, excuse me, the Nike SB in that kind of neon green uh, kind of oozing and dripping out the side which gives this to me like that really dope aesthetic touch um, of basically Halloween aesthetic and the best part about the shoe is it does glow in the dark. I'm gonna have to um, shoot it somewhere else because it is the daylight. So I won't. I won't ever give the good effect that it will. I'm gonna take it actually like in the dark room over here because uh, this room has no windows over here. But 
this room has plenty of windows and I'm not shooting this at night. So, um, but as you see, the bottom of the, the bottom of it is very clear. Uh, it's very plain, but, it ha but I'm pretty sure it just really lights up well at night. And the best part of the shoe, obviously, is in the back, which obviously gives you that aesthetic of the real mummy shoe, which shows the eyes, which to me, this probably really go it really goes a lot harder in the dark when it does glow in the dark um and also on the on the side shoe basically you have the uh excuse me on the other shoe you have the the ripping of the mummy kind of like the tape that taped around the mummy this one giving that, that aspect of ripping it off under under each uh under the uh, the sole of the shoe, they each have something different. Uh, this one has toilet paper, kind of symbolizing Halloween, and on one of them has that beetle kind of getting splashed. Um, and the other one has, and the other one has more tape on it as well. I mean, more more toilet paper as well. And then on the bottom on the bottom back, it says "eek," as in probably s smashing on the beetle. So just there, just a lot of dope Easter eggs in this shoe that's gonna make this shoe very sought after and very hard to get. Now, uh, like I said, the retail price for these was $110. Now, these are going to be aesthetically hard to get because these were only released, they weren't even released on sneaker app. These were only released in sneaker shops. So the resale on these is actually going between $500 to $800 and they're only gonna go up from there. So I would highly suggest if you guys want these now, I would highly suggest getting them now. Now, generally with SB Dunks, I do generally wear like a 10 or I can wear a 10 and a half, but I can also fit a nine and a half. And the 10 and the 10 and a half were just going really more expensive than I really wanted to pay. Um, so I can squeeze in a nine and a half, and that's basically what I did with these. So I, my SP Dunk Paws, my, my SP with the Paws are nine and a half, and they fit perfect. These fit a little tight. So if you guys were getting this, I would go true to size. I would go up. Uh, maybe to keep keep true to size or go up a half size. Like I said, I can squeeze into these nine and a half. Um, it's not gonna like kill me, but uh, ten probably would have been a fit a little better. But the what the paws fit me and they're and they're nine and a half and they fit me perfect. So, but I mean, it is what it is. Uh, I think I love this shoe. I think this is probably gonna be one of my favorite releases of the year. Just the rollout, how it was only further ado, guys. Drop those comments. Let me know what you guys think of these SB Dunk mummies. Um, would you highly and where would you rank this at, up at shoe of the year? This is most definitely probably next to the what the Paul the second dopest uh SB Dunk re re SB Dunk release of the year, in my opinion. So if you guys like um Movie reviews, TV show reviews, thing reviews, think about subscribing to the channel. If you like what you saw, please give me a like. I would highly appreciate that. Until next time, guys, Mr. Movie X is out. And you guys already know I'm going to hit you with some dope on feet before I. No! Got a badass kids running around my whole crib like it's Chuck E. Cheese. Whoa, whoa. Put me in the jam with an X Men in a UFC. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. I'm in disbelief. This bitch. Me paying the rent, paying for trips, diamonds on her neck, diamonds on her wrist, and here I am all alone. All alone. I'm so cold, I'm so cold.